guys, it's Sid, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about British secondary schools, aka academies, aka high school. You know, I'm sure some of the English schools will be a little bit different, so I'm trying to get comfy. Like, I was comfy earlier, and then, like, I'm going to try filming this video, and then my school will I'm home alone by the way and I'm sick. Like I'm sick from school. Like I'm home from school and I'm alone because my grandma can get picked up. My school is just phoned and being like, Hi, it's Kirsty B the letter last name. Like she left a message. Um just wanted to phone and I need was kinda of worried about saying I need to check up on her. She hasn't looks like she's not been in a couple of classes. So now I am panicking and like, I've not been skipping classes by the guys, I'm just home sick. Like. And then if I've not been in class, I've probably been in the medical room. So, yay. Anyway, let's get on to this. So, we want to start with some secondary school. One thing that is bloody iconic about British secondary school, Scotland mainly, I don't know if England's the same, like, in the middle of the school, I like, didn't even live there for a year. Um, the drama. The drama at school is, like, a real, it's, like, the weirdest thing ever. I try and stare at the drama, but it doesn't work. See if the drama's about you. Doesn't work. Like the drama's normal about me and us, but like let's just say I'm the attention person at school, like all the attention gets faced to me, like there's a problem. There's a larger problem, like everyone's faced. It's not fun. But if there's drama going on, everyone's like it's like simple, you can be your friend one day. Next thing you know, like they're walking over to you be like La la la, you said this and that, you said that to this person. Oh my god, you're such a two faced cow and all this. Then no longer your friend. It's like, you're gonna come back to me in less than two days. So, you was going up for a night with me in the first place. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I lost my best friend of seven years last week because of something. Just her starting drama about me around the school and I was like do you know what if you're going to start drama about me you could sort of not be my friend because a friend doesn't go around like um doesn't go around spreading drama about you rumors and everything it's not what a friend does so that's bloody iconic at school the second thing is your friend groups so this is like really weird you have like the friend group that are just like normal, which I would say I'm in the normal friend group, but like I'm certainly not in the other, some of the other friend groups. So like I've got like you've got like the normal friend group, you know, just like normal people getting on with their day to day life, trying to do well in school. You get the popular people, the free people. Stay away from them, unless you're another popular person. Or you know they don't hate you, stay away from them because you're gonna end up getting bloody start a scrap. They're gonna start a scrap with you, or they're gonna start spreading stuff about you. Like, just mm, stay away from the popular people sometimes. They, don't get me wrong, you get the nice popular people, which I have some nice popular people in my school, like people that are popular that they'll happily start a conversation with me. They're really nice. But then you get the ones that are just like, Sharing things because I was in school for four periods today. No, for three. Went down to the office room four. Yeah, first three went down to the office room four. And on the way down to the office, it was on the change of class. So actually, it was four periods because it was on the change of class going into fifth. And people started shouting things at me, and I was like, What have I done now? And you just get my ex was involved in this. He wasn't there, but his name was mentioned. Like they started shouting Sarah. That they shouted Sarah. And then they were like, Yeah, we 
least lagging of the number three. Me. Hold on. I'm just lagging. Have you met my ex? And I'm the one that's supposed to be this lag. Like, it doesn't really make sense. It's like... No. So, there's drama going on. That's cool. But do you get the nice pop people? No, I get pop people, I guess. But just that call people slags and everything. Because you like to stick up for the boys, not the girls. I love how, like, if a boy got given a comment, is going around sleeping with people or something. They've been on this cool. But the second the girl gets, someone says something about a girl doing that, they're the main attack. Like, I haven't been sleeping with people. Like, just like, mm. Yes, because that's a rumor that's spread about me and my school. And that's why I'm getting called all these slag and everything. Eh, <clears throat> have you met my ex? Anyway. I'm mostly my ex went around sleeping with people, by the way. I wouldn't have been out of film because that had happened. No. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I feel like some of my exes are way, way, way worse than me. And probably some of my exes by now probably have slept with a couple of girls. But, like, no. It's Scotland we're on about. Probably, like, very young, very young around Scotland, not gonna lie. Anyway. The next friend group is, like, would have to just say it, the wee sluts. You get the ones that do actually go around and sleep with people and they're happy to admit it. You look at the back of their daughters and they've got a wee tally everyone they've slept with in the past month and it's like that's not even cool, that's just absolutely manking. Like, it doesn't even know. It's just manking, like, why? Like, why would you do that? Like, you're bloody 13. And maybe some of them are even only 12 still. Like, 12, 13, and you've got a real sleep with them, can't really tell you. You're a man, can you? You're going to be a parent by the time you're 14. Second child by the time you're 16, because you'll not have learned for the first time. Like, no. <laughs> like, that's just not. So, I think people get a little bit annoyed with this at school. Away from the friend groups, we can. They get jealous and annoyed very easily. Yes, people get jealous and jealous and very annoyed easily at high school. Especially in Scotland. Now people make fun of me. People say this, that, oh my god, you're a wee slag, you're a wee slut, all this. And then you get the reality of, oh, no one likes you, blah, blah, blah. Oh wait, really? Because I'm pretty sure such as blah 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 I'll have a crush on you because they've told me so or people have told me so which is true because people go around saying oh I hate you no one likes you blah 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 you slag like no one will ever vote you I have a boyfriend and other four people like me no bragging I'm just saying that either people just love going at Louis slags or because they think they're getting lucky, which I really don't believe and think they're getting lucky. And just, mm, yeah, it, normally guys, see it, you're at British secondary school. If people are saying things about you and you know they're not true, it's probably because they're making things up about you. So you feel bad because they're jealous of you. Like, obviously there was things going on at the school about my mum. Now, although them things were true, people, like, never knew they were true, but they still said them. People just try and start crap at school. Leave it alone, okay? <laughs> this is turning more into a advice, isn't it? It's turning more into advice. But the reason I'm doing this is just to prove that British secondary schools are correct in Ireland. Next thing, scraps. Scraps are like the best thing ever. Every time I see a scrap, I'm like face light up, run towards it. It's amazing. People normally would say, Oh, if you start, if you dart your face and you walk the opposite way. Say so the fight was that way, like the cafeteria was that way. I seen a fight happening. Stuff lunch. 
go to the fight. Yes, I know. I would rather see a fight than get my lunch or get a candy at a hot star. Yes, I know. It's pretty sad, isn't it? Anyway, I see my wee sister today. Like, I was getting picked up from school because I felt sick. And it was like the primary. Like, my school's getting nursery primary, secondary training, so it's like nursery primary and secondary. And it was their lunch. And I just hear, Sarah! I looked around and I was like, oh, hi, like, oh, it's your niece. And she was like, give my hands a hug, so I had to walk over and give her a hug. I turned back and she goes, could we go to the trampoline later? Or go to the park? And I was like, won't be allowed out, mate. I'm going home. She's like, wait, you're going home? And I was like, yeah, I'll see you later, bro. I left and she was like, oh, happy. But it's fun, like, when you have, like, siblings at your school. Even if they're not in like the same year group as you, like the same year groups. So like she's in primary, I'm in secondary, but we still see each other because like our school is together. It's pretty fun. We don't have like a sibling in nursery, but like still, if we did, we'd probably still see them as well. So you get to kind of stick around, maybe not in the nursery because of actually. Anyway. And then like the colleges are like the opposite side of town, so that's even better. Yeah. Um, the next time, teachers in Scotland. Oh my god, half my teachers aren't even strict. It's like so weird. My teachers just make up nicknames for the students, and they're like so funny, and it's like they don't even care. Guys, I'm sick, okay? Like, the teachers aren't even really caring about us until I say, like, S1 and S2. You don't really learn much, do you? You're like, although I did have a test today, I actually came home, I stayed for the test because I knew, like, I had a test today and I'm going to stay for the test. That's why I stayed PA4 because I thought I'll get my French test over and done with. So I did that. But like, teachers are like so fun at school, and yeah. Next thing about British secondary schools are the toilets. Luckily we're blessed. So, and I'm an S2, I have a newly made school. We just moved into an April there. Toilets are spotless because it's just new. But when I was an S1, like I was in the old school, like the old building. The toilets were really nice. We had like one, like one block of toilets in that school. Like we had nowhere to go. In there. They were tiny. We often hated it, but there was like three toilets with no drawers on them, so it was like they were at the bounds. Another two toilets, they were just wrecked. So like there was hardly any toilets in that old school for like. It was just disgusting, like I never went to toilet in a nice one because they were just so disgusting. Just like... But now I'll happily go to the toilet at school because they're alright. Like, the toilets are okay at my school now because they're just like brand new. Can you imagine that being the fun name? I just let my phone generate from me for a post on day two because you know I'm that kind of person. I'm actually going to sneeze. Like, I'm so sick. Oh. Yeah, so the toilets are just like disgusting. Like, there was an incident in our school like two weeks ago. Um, pretty sure I know who'd done this. I'm not going to say anyone cares, obviously. But there was an incident where someone walked into the toilets in the PE department. And there was poo in the room. Yes, that happened in my school. That's not even a lie. And it's just disgusting, like, who would want to do that? Actually, I know who would want to do that. I know who done it. But still, like, it's just disgusting, mate. Anyway, guys. I'm going to end this video. I'll do a part two if you want to. That finger turned into that so I know it gone. I'll do a part two if you want to, but comment, like, subscribe.
subscribe. And I will see you wherever I post another video. Bye!